was the crack. Welcome back. How are you getting on? Are you well? Get ready for a vertical one and a cool one. We are on the set of Dancing with the Stars. Let's go have a look. But before we jump into the live show from behind the scenes, let's have a quick look at how the studio got built. Now make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see all the live footage and live behind the scenes and all the goody juicy bits. Okay, so come follow me on the set of Dancing with the Stars. This is a TV set in Dublin called Font Hill Studios. And this show will be on RT1. It's like Irish TV. We're the screen testers today on Strictly Come Dancing. It's not Strictly Come Dancing. Dancing with the Stars, but they're all the same bloody show. Dancing, people dancing. So the idea of the show is that about 12 celebrities team up with 12 professional dancers. Here's the dance floor right here where they're going to be dancing in front of the judges table right there. And they have to do a different dance each. It could be the cha-cha, it could be ballroom dancing, could be anything. So it's, it's going to be good. Right now they're only about two or three days into the build. So the set looks pretty bare and basic at the minute. It's coming along nicely though. But it is fairly bare looking from this angle anyway. But wait till you see when it's done. We're only still hanging up the screens. All right, so this is the green screen area. I'm not really sure what they're using the green screen for on a dancing show, but maybe it's like to get a nice little background for when the interviews are happening after the dancing. Now let's go look at the screen test. That looks like cool. That looks like uh, pillars or something. That looks deadly, except for that pixel on the bottom. <laughs> Stop pointing out the dodgy pixels, will you? <laughs> right here, me and one of the lads are hanging cables from the ceilings basically so like every square inch of this set needs to be plugged in wired up and made sure every wire is in its place so there's a lot going on than you actually think and yeah it's actually scary being up the top of this thing these are so dodgy and speaking of dodgy sometimes we just don't have time to wait around for a ladder <laughs> right so from this angle right here there's going to be all the main cameras on booms and swinging around on cranes and stuff. So this is what the view they have at the whole show. Right, pushing boxes is grand until you come along something that looks like it got imported from a weird country. And then you find this looking, oh my God. And he has fangs. Oh shit, oh, I'm getting out of here. Can we ship that box home? Oh. I am not going in that box. <laughs> if we don't test the vents before we put them in, how are we going to know that they work? This looks fine to me. The press room won't be happy that we're still in the fridge in the milk. Now here's some extra cameras on the side, two extra cameras. There's the behind the scenes walk. So basically people can walk around the studio while filming is happening. Right, so this is kind of like a first look. So they're actually doing full rehearsals as in trying to time it out as in full time. So they're actually playing the full VT and all the show. And then in between that, they're actually doing their dance sequences. And here's a dance sequence right now. It's not a full worked out one yet because this is actually a drag queen, but she doesn't have her makeup on yet. So it still very much looks like a man. And then we go to the judges. So this is what it looks like when the judges have a little chat. So judges are having fun. They give the little banter and then they give the scores. So now that you've seen what it looks like to, to behind the scenes dancing. So let's go take a look at the actual stars. And they're Irish stars. So I don't blame you if you're not from Ireland and you don't know them. Okay, so now that you see the studio is built enough for them to record rehearsals. Let's go have a little look at what the studio looks like now in full swing. Obviously at the start of the video everything looked a little bit bare. But now check it out. Huh? Looks like a proper studio now. Look, there's projectors everywhere. The screens are finished and set up. I'm proud of all that work we did. Looks good, looks good. Let's go take a little closer look over there. So this is one of the staircases that the celebrities will enter the studio from. And it's also the same side that the presenter enters the studio from in that little corner. And it's also the same side the judges table's on. And yes, everything looks very technical and overwhelming. And try being there on day one, trying to figure out where everything goes. Well, it's looking good now. 
Right, so there's monitors everywhere for the celebrities to look at and just people around the studio to look at while it's filming live to see how it's going and see what it looks like live on camera. And this up here, this area, is where after you do your dancing, you come up here and the presenters are going to have a little interview with you and all the dancers are going to be sitting here chilling and having a laugh after they've had a dance while they watch the rest of the dancers and the judging take place. And over this little barrier here, as I said, there's all the camera cranes and booms. Let's go down here, a little look at the back behind the scenes. Once they leave the stage, they'll come back here and probably do more interviews, probably play little games and interviews with different presenters. And then check it out. Nice little camera view there. It was all set up lovely. So this is the little house that the presenters will be living in for a while. And they run around the corner to the right, right as they get their queue. Um, and it's just a bit of madness and, and techie back here. <laughs> like it looks like a little rave. It's so many buttons and labels and cables and wires. And uh, this is the biggest golden disco ball I've ever seen in my life. It took four people to lift off the truck. And you'll also see that in the show. They do a little bit and bob with that. Uh, check out all these little props. One of these little props now, right, uh, is a chalkboard. And I seen them using the chalkboard and I'm going to draw a little smiley face on it and hopefully they don't rub that out. And if that makes it onto TV, I'm going to laugh so hard. It's like a little Easter egg for myself. So there's the little chill out zone that I was watching the TV on earlier on. Wasn't this TV. You wouldn't get that HD picture on that joke anyway. So this is like a prop area. Um, and they just quickly last minute make props that are needed on set. Basically anything you ever need and want to make any kind of props you're probably going to find around here. It's like a gold mine for having arts and crafts. Check out the fake boulders. Classic TV film studio. Yeah, it looks good today. It looks real good. No, I'm just having a look. Just It looks so good. It's amazing look. Right before the show starts, they try to warm up the audience and get them going. This guy does a cartwheel. It's where he was on the bloody show. Right, so these steps, when you're watching the show, are at the far right-hand corner. So this is where everybody is back behind the stage, right there. See over here, these girls are dancing. These are the two hosts. But you see those steps to the right of the screen? Literally, that's where I was just there two seconds ago. And here we go, right? Check this out, right? I got a little behind-the-scenes shot here. The confetti blows up right as the song ends. And I got the confetti for you there on the side. Look at that. And then cut back to this shot. The confetti falling in. You like that? And there's the comedian they had riling up the crowd beforehand. And check this out, right? Watch this. There you go. This right now is live. And this is the steps I'll show you as they go onto stage. And I'm watching them live walk up and onto stage. And there it is on camera. So proper little behind the scenes for your tour right there, huh? Right, check it out, right? Check out the clock that says Sydney. I tried to set 420 on it right before it went out. <laughs> so when you see it on the screen or on the TV, check out the Sydney one and watch this. Look. Hey, look at Sydney, 420 chilling, bro. So that was us putting that out and here it is, he's getting used. We were just sitting in the chair before we put it out and we were just talking about how uncomfortable it is. And I said, it's only a prop. It's only for dancing and jumping on. But at least they're chilling in Sydney, 420, bro. And this is what it looks like for all the contestants to get their scores up in the corn. Oh, and you remember at the start of the video when I drew a smiley face on the chalkboard? They rubbed it out of me, no! That's part now, the queen of violence. Thank you, please. This is one of my favorite shots I got of the behind the scenes because it's a live action little take right here. But as you know, this show is all about dancing. So there's loads of copyrighted music that I can't play for you. So you're just going to have to listen to me. But check out this. I'm going to give you a live look on the actual dance floor live on stage and follow me. And I'll just show you where I'm watching it right now. Check it out. I literally have my own little spot over here. I can go watch it live or I can go watch it on the TV like you guys at home. Woohoo! Oh yeah, see that's cool right there. Alright, okay, okay, enough dancing. Okay, we get it, we get it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my behind the scenes studio look at Dancing with the Stars. And here they are all now, finished, and they're going to go home. And no one got voted out tonight, so you're going to have to check out next week, RT1. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week on my channel, Irish Jesus. See you soon.